Hi, we're here at Amsterdam International Fashion Week on day three. I'd just like to ask you some questions. What's your name? Uh, my name's Lonica Engel. Nice to meet you. Uh, how is Amsterdam Fashion Week going for you so far? It's going really well. I'm actually, I, w I went to uh, visit a few shows, but today I'm presenting the Green Fashion Competition. As I'm the ambassador of the Green Fashion Competition, and I'm so happy that Amsterdam Fashion Week is really putting emphasis on the future of fashion, which I think is green. Brilliant, that's fantastic. And uh, how do you think that Dutch fashion compares to the rest of the, the world? How do you think it's doing here this, this season? Well, I think we have a lot of young, new talents that after they showed a few seasons Amazon Fashion Week, they spread their wings and go to other fashion weeks. But I think, especially what I just said, green fashion, I think that's very unique. We're the only, uh, the only fashion week in the world that has a green fashion competition. Wow. And together with the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Agriculture and Innovation of Holland, we organize this. So it's really the country itself promotes it and supports it. Oh, Prince was a pioneer for green fashion, which yes. is amazing. Yes. And uh, which, which designers uh, are involved that are, are green? Is it just a particular section or are other designers that are taking part in Fashion Week? Uh, this is the second season. Last season, Elsie and Kringhuis won. She's also going to show uh, today as the first show. And then afterwards, we'll announce the winners over the two categories. Uh, one category is the young designers that just started out. And the second category are the established labels that are green. So Elzine, I would say, is a very nice designer that has been really developing herself last season. And I think, uh, yeah, I can't really name any names because then it may, yeah, okay. might seem that, that I have a preference for any of them. But I yeah. think all eight that are in the competition are very nice because that's why they uh, came to the finale. Brilliant. And is it something that's quite close to your heart? Are you very you know, yeah. green yourself in the way that you live and, and the food that you eat, etc.? Yeah, actually I studied to become a certified health counsellor, which in the fashion industry, if you're a model, um, you know, it's interesting if you studied nutrition. And on the other side, I really love vintage clothing and I love organic clothes. And I, I like to know where my clothes come from. I want to know who makes it. And with this competition, I can speak to the designers and they tell me, oh, this is made from uh, Nepal, this comes from Nepal, and this is made by women in Morocco. And, and then you kind of know the history of your garments. Yeah. And I think it's much nicer than just going to a big clothing chain and buying something that everybody else has. Exactly, so it's something more new. Yeah. That's yes. great. And uh, which other designers are you looking out for this, this week at uh, Fashion Week? Other designers? Yeah. Well, I have to say I'm going to Jan Bulo, who's also a, a young designer. I'll be wearing his outfits. Um, he's a friend of mine, so um, he makes really rock chic. So I'm having my rock moment that, uh, on Sunday. And I went to Spikers and Spikers yesterday, which is, I think, a brand and the two designers that are very wearable. Um, they wear, make the most beautiful wearable clothes, which I think is important too, you know, yeah, to sure. have fashion that you can actually wear. Yeah, so there are enough designers that are exciting uh, to see here. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.